bless you. May God bless you. I welcome you to this beautiful section. And I pray that let the Lord open your eye to something great in Jesus' mighty name. I want to talk to you because this is something that has been heavy in my spirit and I decided to share because it's your prophetic word and I want you to take it serious in Jesus' name. There is somebody who is an agent of darkness sent into your life and this is someone sent by the devil. Excuse. Now, how can you detect that this person is sent on a mission in your life? Now, there are people, when they come into your life, all the programs, all the events, the program they want to take you out, it's just so it's just centered around your prayer time. Be careful with such people. Their target in your life is to ensure that your prayer life, your prayer defense is broken. If any man can breach the security of your life, they have that they can access your life. And let me explain something to you. Prayer does not just build you to be able to communicate frequently with God. It creates in you an ability to detect failure before it finally manifests. It means you become spiritually sensitive. Hallelujah. So any event that truly keep only coming up, so every time they want to bring up a program to you, it is always around your prayer time. It makes you feel like you just forgo your prayer time to sacrifice in order to meet up with them. I want to tell you, these are agents that are sent. Their program is not a coincidence that they always fall around your prayer time. And secondly, again, I want you to take this very serious. There are people, when they come into your life, they draw you away from the things of God. It means you don't find yourself getting closer to God. You find yourself drifting away. I've often said, I don't have a problem with you getting into a relationship. I don't have a problem with you making new friends. The question is, what is a relationship you turn you into? The relationship you get into, you finally see yourself finally become Satan's assistant. It means, you, you. it seems like you were on internship under Satan's leadership. Then all of a sudden, it seems like there's a graduation you're expecting to go through because certain men comes into your life or certain women or certain people. So be careful because these people are on a mission. They can use their money to throw on man of events to ensure that you are distracted. There are people as we are speaking right now, we are in the seventh month of the year. They are not bothered to see God's face to find out what is the Lord saying concerning 2023. On the 31st night, they will think magic will happen that night. So they will just wake up and kneel down, probably they see fireworks in their cities or in their town. And then they said, this is a new year, I'm happy, I'm crossing to a new year. You are crossing onto what? The Lord was not dormant. The Lord was not quiet all through. You are the one who has not been listening. You are fixed. You have, we, have, you have, we have made it a fixed day that we go on the 10th night expecting God to speak. That is a day where believers gather to confirm what they have been hearing. That day, I had a word, you have a word. We meet together not to for you to tell me a word, for, for us to just pray and begin to appreciate God that all this word which he gave us, he has sustained us to see this day which is ushering us to a new year. But the problem with believers is that sometimes they wait thinking God speaks on the 31st night. No, it's a day where we decide to confirm prophecies. Because I could confirm the prophecy in my house, you could confirm it only in your house. May we come together one fellowship so that we can pray in the light of God's power. But this is one thing I want you to understand. That agents, there are assigned agents into, into people's lives. And when they come, you should be able to spot them out. I said one of the ways is to spot people who put who plant events just around your prayer time and expect you to, to be there, full, to be there, body and soul. No. There are certain things you say no to, not because you don't wish to be there, but because you value your sacred time in your time of prayer with God more than any other thing. If you take this serious, you are going to be very productive. And secondly, again, I want you to also understand, when people come and try to disconnect you from a prayer system or maybe from a prayer partner you have had for years, maybe they probably come, they talk you out of your church. They talk, oh, come on, you should not be here. I want you to understand that if you truly serve God, you don't need another man to tell that the place where you fellowship is real or fake. If you fellowship in a place, someone should not come and pull you out from there. Another thing I want you to also understand is that God has ordained certain people to walk into your life. That how you tend to know the one that is of God and the one that is of Satan, it is how they come in projecting their own um, programs. When somebody comes from, when somebody is of the Lord, they help you grow more in the things of God. When somebody is of the devil, they help you drift away from the things of God. And you start struggling to come back. You are asking yourself, how did I get to this stage? How did I get to this level of wickedness? How did I get to this level of darkness, this level of bitterness? Amen. Because a lion does not really attack a, a, a bull until they finally succeed to drift that one away from the other crew. And that is how they take that one down. 
So I want you to take this serious. You are a blessing. Don't let different people drag you down. God bless you.